In this module, we will talk about uh, the growth factors which we add as a supplement to the fermentation media on industrial fermentations. Up till now, we have discussed about different other ingredient, carbon sources, nitrogen sources and chelators. But what are the growth factors? Before talking about the addition of the growth factors in the fermentation media, growth factors are mostly needed especially for those microorganisms which are unable to produce some specific compounds. So we have to add those compounds and we have to supplement in that medium. You can see here, so these growth factors can be vitamins, that can be amino acids, fatty acids or some sterols. But in some cases when we formulate any medium, these growth factors in which vitamins, amino acid, fatty acids and sterols are present in undefined media or we can say at a complex medium along with that carbon and nitrogen sources. But in some cases we have to add just to meet if the specific growth factor is not present in that fermentation medium. So when there is a vitamin deficiency then we have to be very careful blending of these materials. So it is important to remember that if only one vitamin is required it may be occasionally more economical to add in a pure form rather to add a crude form of that vitamin source in a bulk quantity because if we add in a bulk quantity that contain some other vitamins, some other growth factors which ultimately have not positive factors to the growth of that particular organism. If we add some other uh, growth factors which is not required by that specific organism that can facilitate the contamination process if there is a chance. On other hand that can also have a negative effect on the production of a specific product in fermentations. So apart from these vitamins calcium pantothenate is an example that is used for the vinegar production. So in case of glutamic acid biotin is mostly produced, uh, mostly add into the fermentation medium and same case when we are dealing with the lysine production some kind of amino acids and other vitamins we have to add just to facilitate the production of such specific product products. You can see here then uh, the some production scale may also require the thiamine. So these growth factors are actually somehow required for some particular organisms and somehow they are needed for specific uh, product because we have to control the metabolic pathways especially in case of uh, secondary metabolites. In case of primary metabolites they are mostly regulated by the cell itself but in uh, in the fermentation process when we are dealing with those product we have to need some growth factors. So that's why the supplementation and the addition of the growth factors along with carbon, nitrogen and other sources, phosphorus sources, minerals and chelators, growth factors and growth promoters have their own role. So sometimes when we add the growth factors, they just facilitate the growth of one organism that we need to grow in a fermentation medium. So some kind in case of the mixed fermentation, then a particular kind of uh, uh, growth factors is also needed. So that's why we have to be add the growth factors especially in a pure form rather to add in a very crude form 
because when we add, as uh, we have already discussed, that when we add the growth factors in a crude form, then they can lead the fermentation process into the negative side. So we have to be very careful by setting the amount of growth factor into the fermentation medium.